I'm Erin Hoffman and I'm working on tintype photography through a modern queer lens. Back when this process was originally starting, there weren't a lot of queer people who were out and so we don't have a lot of images of these people like explicitly saying like, I'm queer, I'm trans. So I'm looking back to this process to sort of use an older historic process to represent modern queer and trans identities. I started doing darkroom photography when I was like 14. I've just been looking for new ways to go farther and farther back in the like photographic process. So you start with like a black aluminum plate that's highly polished. You pour collodion on there and make sure it's like even by like spreading it around very carefully. Then you put it into a bath of silver nitrate for five minutes where it becomes light sensitive. So after that point, everything has to be dark. It all has to be in a dark room. Then once the plate is sensitized, you put it into the camera, expose it, take it back to the dark room. Then you develop it for about 30 seconds to a minute. Then you put it into the fixer to make sure it stays on the plate permanently. And then you have a nice fancy image on a metal plate. Even today, where it's a bit more safe for people to be out, it still can be hard and dangerous. So the more we see queer people and trans people like being, yes, this is who I am, deal with it, the more it becomes normalized and the safer society will become for people. The grant has meant so much to me because this is something I'd been wanting to do for a long time. And it's just something I wouldn't have been able to afford on my own. So this grant has allowed me to branch out and expand like what I know about photography and darkroom photography that I just wouldn't have been able to do on my own.